Good morning, students. Today's session is about lesson 12.1, Divide Regions into Equal Parts. And your homework is assigned at the end of this video. So let's have a look at the lessons video. Let's learn fractions. Understanding fractions can be easy as one, two, three. Just watch this video and you'll be using fractions with ease. It's easy to count whole things, like a pizza, a pie, or a donut. But what if we only had part of one? How would we count it then? We'd use fractions. A fraction looks like this. The bottom number is called the denominator. It shows how many equal pieces an object has been divided into. The top number is called the numerator. It shows how many parts of the denominator you are looking at. For example, a pizza is usually divided into eight slices. That means that in a fraction, the denominator would be eight. If you normally eat one slice of pizza, then one would be the numerator. That means that you eat one eighth of a pizza. If you normally eat two slices of pizza, then two would be the numerator. The denominator would still be eight since there are always eight slices of pizza. That would mean that you eat two eighths of a pizza. Let's try another example. This pie is divided into six pieces and you eat four pieces of it. If there were six pieces of pie and you eat four, what is the denominator of your fraction? That's right, six. What is the numerator? Yep, it's four. That means that you ate four sixths of the pie. So students, here you have to keep one thing in your mind that if this pie is not divided into equal parts, you cannot make fraction out of it. So the pie or anything, any shape or any region, if you have to write fraction for that, it must be divided into equal parts. You can look in the picture, all the parts are equal. If the parts are not equal, again, you cannot write fraction for this pie. Let's try one more example. If you and your friend have one donut to share, then you will cut it into two pieces. If there are two pieces of donut and you eat one, what is the numerator of your fraction? That's right, the numerator is one. What is the denominator? Right again, it's two. When the fraction is one over two, we call that one half. Thanks for watching. So students, you have watched the video. Now let's review the vocabulary cards which we are going to use in the lesson. The first word is numerator. Numerator. What's numerator? You have seen in the video. The numerator is the number above the fraction bar in a fraction. Denominator. The denominator is the number below the fraction bar in a fraction. So in half, two is the denominator. So what is this word? Yes, numerator. And what is this one? Denominator. And where do we write numerator? Very good, above the fraction bar. And where do we write denominator? Bravo, down the fraction bar. Now, you can keep one thing in your mind that denominator d for denominator and d for down means denominator you will always write it down okay next word is fraction fraction 
Now, what is fraction? When we write a number in this form and there is a bar between the number, that is called a fraction. We have a numerator, we have a denominator, and there is a bar between the two numbers. This is called a, very good, fraction. And then, unit fraction. Unit fraction. Unit fraction. If you look at the word unit, what does unit mean? Unit mean one. So any fraction in which the numerator is one, that is called a unit fraction. Denominator could be any number, but if the numerator is one, that is called unit fraction. Okay, so let's begin the lesson 12.1 and the problem is show two different ways to divide 2 times 6 region into 6 equal parts. Color the 6 parts of each region a different color. How do you know that parts are equal? Now you have to draw the lines to divide these regions into 6 equal parts. And then how can you tell that the parts are equal. So, what I did, I have drawn the lines here and I have colored them with the different color pencils and I know the parts are equal because each part has two unit squares. Each part has two unit squares. So if the unit squares in each part are the same, that means we have divided the picture into equal parts. Next page, question one and example. In box B on page 610, explain how you know the four parts are equal. So this question is related to this example on page number 610. So how do we know that this region is divided into four equal parts. By counting what we can tell that the region is divided into four parts and those parts are equal. Yes, because each fourth has three units. Each fourth has one, two, three units. That's why we know the four parts are equal. Question two and three, we have to label the pictures if the parts are equal or unequal. And if it is equal, then we have to write fraction for one part. So writing a fraction for one part means the numerator will be one and the denominator will be the whole. How many parts the picture has? So question two, this region is divided into equal parts. So I have written equal and these are six parts and for one part the numerator is one and denominator is the six equal parts. And this shape is not divided into equal parts. So I cannot write fraction for this. Okay, question four. Draw lines to divide the shape into eight equal parts, then write the fraction that represent one part. So first of all, you can write fraction by reading the problem just. How, how many equal parts they are asking to make? Eight equal parts. So your denominator will be very good, eight. And then you have to represent one part. So your numerator will be very good. Now you have to draw the lines in this box and divide this into eight equal parts. Now how you will know that the parts are equal? By counting the squares. Each part should have the same number of squares. Okay. So question five to seven, you have to write 
the parts are equal or unequal and if the parts are equal then you have to write a unit fraction unit fraction means you have to write a fraction for one part as we did in question two and question eight to ten you have to draw the lines to divide the region into equal parts and then write the fraction for one part now you have to pause the video here and finish writing the answers from question 5 to 10 and then we will solve the next page okay so here are answers from question 5 to 10 you can match your answers let's go to the next page okay so first of all you have to read the information given in the table this is flags of different nations and the nations are Mauritius, Nigeria, Poland and Seychelles. So these are the different flags. They are divided into uh, equal and unequal parts. Okay, now let's read question 11. What fraction represent the white part of Nigeria's flag? Now look at Nigeria's flag. How many parts are white? That will be your numerator. And how many total parts the flag has will be your denominator. Question 12. Which nation's flag is half red? Half red. Denominator is 2. Means that flag is divided into two parts only. And one part is red. So which nation has a flag which is divided into two parts only? And one part is red red question 13 the flag of this nation has more than three equal parts which nation is it and what fraction represents one part of its flag so one part means you have to write the unit fraction numerator will be one but first of all you have to look which nation's flag is divided into three or more equal parts equal parts the parts should be equal more than three parts and the parts should be equal so which flag is divided into more than three equal parts okay question 14 which nation's flag does not have equal parts which nation's flag does not have equal parts so look at the all four flags and write here the name of the nation whose flag is not divided equally now pause the video right here and write the answers from question 11 to 14. so here are the answers i hope your answers are same like mine and here is your assignment you have to watch this video and learn how to read fractions how to read fractions this we are going to use in further lessons for this topic how to read fractions you can simply write this in YouTube and watch the video you can find this link in the description box and by clicking the link you can watch the video directly on the YouTube thanks for watching and see you in the next video with a new lesson take care